I just um, it's Sunday, and uh, not really had a chance to do a video of the forging this week. I've had a week off to help a mate out <clears throat> reorganise his workshop. So we finished that Friday, and now I'm just doing this. Is working on the uh, this is a micro power hammer that I'm building. It's a micro, it's a, like a mini one. And I'm just doing the, the mounting plate for the motor. <clears throat> this is a one horsepower single phase. I uh, think it's 1400 RPM. And this is obviously the hammer. I made the base today. Um, it was a lot more work than I <laughs> wanted it to be. I just had it in my head that it wanted to be metal. Uh, wood, sorry. And it would have been cheaper and easier and probably more sturdy out of steel, but for whatever reason I was adamant I was going to make it out of wood. Just to wear. Uh, for whatever, yeah. So that's that, it's braced together. I've ordered a load of threaded bar. I was planning to drill through this all the way through and then obviously large washers and bolt that together as well. I may not need to now, if I don't then I'll, uh, I'll save them for another job. But here's the hammer. So... I bought the plans off Clay Spencer, the tyre hammer. <clears throat> and I spoke to him and he said, obviously, seeing other people's attempts at making smaller versions. And um, he wasn't impressed with them or whatever, you know, for the the power and everything that they lack. But all I need is I've got a, obviously, a hydraulic press there that I've, I've built, which is um, ideal for drawing out large stocks. So I'll be taking this to the forge, obviously, once I get it all. Fully finished. Um, this is more for drawing out, making scroll and stuff, so I can fire pokers, that kind of thing. Small work. Um, I've not got the funds for to buy one. And obviously, engineering background, so I decided I'd make one. So it's just a um, a trailer wheel. So you basically anyway got the plans from Clay. Uh, skimmed through them. Uh, the general gist of the idea of how it works, the springs and everything, and the wheel mechanism. Um, but decided just to downsize it a bit. Because originally I was making it to use here in my garage, something that wouldn't take up too much room and wouldn't be too noisy. And obviously managed to get the forge. So I'll be taking it to the forge. Just want to do some trial runs here before I finish it all. So, yeah, it's a um, fairly simple design. Obviously there's the wheel tracks. That works the hammer. See if I can get a. It's quite hard doing it one by. So you can adjust it obviously by tensioning up the spring here. This is a forty-pound spring. I think the way it works is it's measured in. It takes forty pounds to compress this spring an inch. I think that's how it goes. I have got a thirty-pound, a thirty-five-pound spring as well. I originally got a um, spring, a shock off a, a quad bike, which is just too much. It didn't seem to do anything. But this has got quite a nice bounce to it. Another guy that I obviously got really lots of ideas from uh, for the build is a uh, Big Dog Forge. The guy's called. I think he's called it Scrappy the Power Hammer. Um, really interesting. That informative. So I liked his idea. He'd used most people use a bearing, which I did originally order, um, like a saddle bearing, but. My experience of bearings in work is they don't, especially them with them being a cast, they don't withstand much, you know, with all the vibration and the, the hammer this thing's going to get. <clears throat> I forget it won't be long before it, it fails. So I made this piece anyway. This is a oil-like bush in there. Uh, solid bar that was bored out to the shaft. That's 25 mil. Um, I had originally bought oil-like bushes for all these. But I figured with it being like a prototype, I wasn't going to fully commit. At the end of the day, if I do decide, if I'm happy with it and it works well, I'll just drill them out to, and, and press them in. I've still got them. Um, here, I've used, obviously, three grease nipples. And inside here, I've got a Delrin, which is like a wear plate. That's held in with these screws here. There's a tiny, tiny bit of play, but, I mean, you can, that can be removed if you wanted to by shimming it out. But also, I've done grease journals in here, so... On the back side of this, if you can imagine, against this hammer, I've just carved out with a Dremel this shape, so it allows the grease sort of somewhere to sit, so it's not just basically coming out as soon as you start using the hammer. 
Um, I've braced it here, obviously, to help take some of the shock out. Brace the back end. This is just a stub axle off a trailer. And obviously, I need to do some uh, supports down here, some trusses of some sort. Then I'm going to brace it from here to the body, and then coming out here, obviously, onto the anvil. I've got some solid uh, 100 mil solid bar, 100 by 100 square. I'll be using for the angle. I'll probably trim this hammer down. I don't think I need it that long. And I don't think I need it that heavy. My intention was to have this as like almost like I would be using like a ball pain hammer. Um, ball pain hammer, just light work, drawing out. Obviously, I've got the press for heavy stuff. Just more quick, repetitive work. So maybe like texturing, I could put some dies or whatever on the on the hammer heads, make them, machine them. And I'm thinking, hey, so this has got a uh, 50 by 55 mil wall. And then I've got 40 mil solid bar, which is the runs the full length of this. Uh, so I work out that's obviously where it bottoms out here, this line here. So I'll probably work out where I want it for weight wise. And I'm thinking of using 60 mil, 60 60 box section, 5 mil wall, which will just slide over this. So I can cut this thing here. That'll slide on. I'll drill my holes. I'll probably drill and weld this along, like plug it so it's, the bar's solid in there. And then I'll drill through so the cap can almost slide on. With different dies and I'll put a bolt through it and lock it on. Same with obviously plates for the bottom. So that's the idea anyway. That's where I'm up to. Just like I say, I'm just doing the motor mount here. And I'll have that hinged on the back here. On some sort of foot pedal. But like I said, I needed to get the base made. To be able to work that out. So anyway guys, hope you find that pretty interesting. Or whatever, let me know what you think. I can see if you're interested in uh, the build. I can do some more of it. I just figured I'd make a quick video since I didn't get any forging done this week. Alright guys, well I'll catch you later.